Hey guys, um, so I'm just doing a quick update. I am currently still in England with Ed. We just finished his visa process. Um, he did his interview, as you guys will probably see in a little video compilation we're going to make. Um, he finished his interview and he passed it, so we're officially getting the K-1 fiancé visa soon, and it should come in the mail hopefully this week, and then we'll be on our way back to the U.S. So we've been here for about two months, and in that time I was on antibiotics four days on, three days off for most of it, um, with little breaks in between if the Herxin got bad. An update on my twitching. I have been twitching since I've been here, but the past week or so, um, since I've been off my medicine for like two weeks now, so the past week or so I noticed that when I pushed this, it used to twitch a lot right here, and now look. It's nothing. It's like I feel it, but it's not noticeable at all, which is amazing. So my eyes are still twitching, so if I rub them or if I'm in a car and I look both ways, um, this one will droop a lot. Sometimes the twitches are coming from the other side now, so that's strange. Um, but it's like nothing like it was before on this side. So the medicines are doing something, and it's just really hard on my stomach to stay on antibiotics that long because it causes like gut health issues. So what I think we're going to do next is I have an appointment with an infectious disease doctor who is going to probably start me on IV antibiotics, um, have that appointment on June 28th. And he's going to start me on IV antibiotics most likely since we know these are the ones that are working. And um, just to kind of get it in my bloodstream faster since Babesia is a parasite um, in the bloodstream. So it's going to hopefully attack it straight through and I would get it through like either a pick line or a port in the chest area. So whichever one is more possible. Um, I don't get a lot of this covered by insurance anywhere because I dropped Cobra because it was insanely expensive to pay full price for private health insurance. Uh, continuously when I'm not working and my dad was helping me with that cost paying that cost for me and I just felt like it was more worth it to pay out of pocket um, than using Cobra because two of the doctors I see for Lyme um, do not take the health insurance I had anyway and the medicines that I'm on will hopefully be covered um, by whatever I pick up next for health insurance and if not, I kind of did like the price matching um, and with the RX cards, like there's those coupon cards you can use. So with the RX cards and the coupon codes, it should all come to less than what I was paying per month for private health insurance. So it's more worth it. But it's sad that we even have to think about these things um, as people who have Lyme disease or who have Babesia or any of these things don't have enough research done because... You don't know what is and isn't going to be covered. You don't know what symptoms are going to happen next or what doctor you're going to need. Uh, so we're hoping that everything continues to go in the right direction because I do feel a lot better. I'm still very achy. Um, I get really bad nerve pain, mostly at night, and I get very tired around like 3, 4 o'clock every day, um, which is kind of like right now. So I might take a nap soon. Uh, but... All together, this is much better than I was around Christmas time, which is awesome, and I am going to keep going in the right direction. We are planning our wedding as well for this summer because, of course, like you guys may see in the 90 Day Visa show, which is totally inaccurate to real relationships, just a reality show, um, but as you guys may see, we only have 90 days to get married on a K-1 visa, so we have to get married this summer. And we will be planning that as soon as we get home. Um, so a lot's going to be going on and I'm taking it step by step and I'm enjoying everything instead of stressing. I've been practicing like mindfulness and um, stress relief and I have basically stayed away from any major stressors this whole time to make sure my nervous system has the best chance to recover and to be able to heal the nerves in my face because stress is something that overactivates your nervous system um so it is not good uh that's also why the vertigo like it's not just emotional stress but like physical stress on your body too much exercise too much of anything could activate your nervous system to start um responding again to those triggers so i've been kind of trying to take it easy do mostly walking 
um, as far as exercising and stop whenever I'm tired rather than pushing myself. Uh, so I've get, gotten really good at that. The only symptom that has gotten worse, um, the nerve pain stayed the same. The twitching has gotten a lot better. The symptom that has gotten worse is my short-term memory, which is extremely scary because one second I'll be able to like remember um, everything that happened today and then the next I'll forget some huge event or some big thing that happened and someone will have to remind me because I'm looking happy right after something sad happened only like two hours later for instance someone passed away that I knew um, like a family friend and I forgot this person had passed away like four hours later and I just like forgot that I found out the news um, and I was acting as if nothing had happened and Ed asked me do you remember what happened today like like go through the day and I was like I ate breakfast I did this I did that and he's like did anything else happen and I was like no he's like um did anything big happen anything with family friends or anyone I'm like no couldn't for the life of me understand what he was trying to say and he's like I'm sorry I have to tell you again but this time I was like I know oh my god I can't believe I like like, I knew as soon as he told me, I knew I heard it. I remembered every detail, but, like, it it was, like, back here, and I couldn't get it to the front to really know, like, that that had happened. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like steps. Like, something's here, but I can't say it. I can't verbalize it. I can't feel it. Um, forgot one of my favorite singers' names when I was trying to say it. It was here. I had it. But, like, as it filtered to get out of my mouth, I couldn't remember the, the sound of it or the syllables of the name. I was like, uh, it's Ed Sheeran, by the way was one of my favorite singers, and, um, at least I got it now, I could not, and it's Ed's name, which is, like, really even more annoying, but I couldn't get the name out of my mouth, like, it wasn't connecting with my speech, and it was driving me insane, but that's been happening a lot lately, um, so I figure once I get the IV antibiotic straight into my bloodstream, that will hopefully lessen, um, and we will see, but, yeah, so far, Pushing on through, planning a wedding, getting better, Lyme awareness, finding ways to use this crappy experience in a positive light and be able to help other people. And I'm going to try to do some more in raising awareness for the Lyme community um, and how to figure out how to afford healthcare, um, how to get it more recognized by doctors and try to learn more about why exactly uh, it's being gone about in this way where it's so hard to get treatment. So we will see how that goes. Um, as far as my dysfunction of the belt reflex, I can still burp. It's a little bit uh, a little bit difficult to get out right now because the Botox is wearing off. It wears off in about five months and I will be at the exact five month mark in less than 10 days. So I've noticed I'm a little bit more bloated lately. I guess this is the point where I have to actually learn how to continue to burp on my own without the help of the Botox. So I'm still burping, which is great. Um, but it's a little bit harder, so I gotta make sure I make it past this little leap, and I think I will because it seems good. I can still eat, um, pretty well without getting too bloated, so I'm doing good. I can breathe, and everything's gonna keep going up from here. <laughs> My little dance, woo! Um, so yeah, I will see you guys soon, and I'm gonna be posting some videos of me and Ed from the time that we were here. We've been here for two months, so I will post this one first just as kind of like a precursor and after this I'll just upload the ones that we've made while I've been here just as like a little extra and once I get home we'll start filming more regularly and um see you guys soon I guess <laughs> bye